Wix website for artists tutorial. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily set up and launch our artist website for free even on Wix. So here we are on Wix.com and in order to get started we just simply need to click on this button right up here and after a small registration we'll open uh, this page where we need to click on create a new site. This is our dashboard where we can manage all the websites we have. So let's click on create new and um, here we can easily decide what kind of website are you creating. We can also like input here like website for artists, but I recommend you to skip this question and also skip the next one because honestly we can easily find the necessary template a little bit later right up here. So we need to click on begin with a template and after that we are going to create artist website. So find the creative option and here find the most suitable as for us. As you can see we have a lot of different uh, topics, photography site, design, creative arts, music, portfolio and CV and also video. So we can easily uh, try to find something in design area for example and as you can see there are a lot of uh, things that we can use. We can use this template, this template, a lot of different templates. So let's say that I would like to use this one here. Of course we can customize every single part. We can manage all the pages, we can manage this photo, this text and so on. Also, all the templates provided by Wix are totally responsive for different devices, for example, this phone or the computer for laptop also. So let's click on edit this site in the right top and after that um, we'll come to the next page with the next stage where we can edit uh, design itself. It may take a little time, depends on the server's capacity and also our internet speed connection. So yeah, all we need just just simply wait. So here we are on our editor and here we can interact with the structure. We can manage pages, sections, elements and do a lot of other things. So it's really important to organize this website as for our purposes to change every single content, to, uh, to see is this page important or not, maybe we can easily delete it. So let's get started. Firstly, in the top of the screen, we can change between different views to like mobile and PC. Uh, sometimes it could be really helpful if you want to organize your website for both. Also, we can change zoom, we can zoom in or zoom out. And in the central part, we can interact with our website. In the left side menu, we have the option to add elements, add sections, manage pages and menu, change site design, also add apps and so on. So firstly we need to organize our structure, the structure of our website. So click on pages and menu right up here and here on side menu we can see that you have a home, professional anchor, experience and portfolio. I would like to delete uh, all of these anchors. I don't want to use them. Basically anchors is that if you're going to click on it in the top of the screen, it will just simply redirect it to the necessary part of website. So yeah, like this. I would like to delete it. And from this page here, we can also add a page in the bottom of the screen. So uh, we can add about pages, advice, project, contact, general landing pages and so on. So nothing hard, depends on your purposes. If you want, you can. But in my case, I don't want to add this stuff. The next thing I recommend you to do is that we can manage uh, the wall uh, things. For example, we can change color palette, uh, font pack, add animations and so on. In order to do it, I'm going to click on site design. I'm going to click on color theme and here we can change wall color palette and also we can change uh, like separate colors. We can click on this color, for example, this one here or this one. And let's say what I would like to make it like red, maybe. Yeah, let it be like red. Also, I want to change a text theme. So let's click on change text theme and I would like to use this font pack. So it depends on your like vision, how like do you see it and so on. And now we are ready to interact with content itself and every single page on uh, Wix uh, is uh, divided into different sections. We have this section here, this section here, this section here and so on. 
we can delete the unnecessary sections. For example, I would like to delete this section here. And also I would like to delete this huge section with our portfolio. I will add it a little bit later. So we can also move them up or move them down to change the order. And also, as I already said, we can add a section. So let's click on add section here, or we can click on add a section here. And we can find a lot of different templates we can use. Welcome page, about, team, content, promotion, services, and so on. Let's say that I would like to add a contact page and I would like to use this one here. So after that, we need to change the structure. I would like to move it down. And here we have this thing. So in order to change the sections, we can see that they, they are like, they have a lot of elements inside text, uh, information, social bar, these Google Maps. And in order to interact with these elements, we just simply need to click on them. And after that, we'll see all the actions we can do. We can edit text, create AI text, add animations, links and so on. So I can double click, for example, and here we can like uh, write to us like this. We can add some text. Also, we can change position, make it bold, italic and so on. The same thing with every single element. For example, I don't want to use this stuff and I would like to make this thing a little bit like less. So as you can see, nothing hard. And in this case, we can interact with every single element, for example, with this menu, with this like text, and we can also add elements by simply clicking on it right up here. I would like to add a button, let's say, and I would like to add this button here. So yeah, as you can see, interface is quite easy. So you have to customize every single element as you need as for your website and then you simply click on publish in the right top, save and continue. And in a few seconds, our um, site was published to the internet. Now we can click on done and we'll get a clickable link where we can click on view site, for example. And after that, um, we can see how it look like. And even we have this link, we can share it with our friends and they can like, you know, um, update it or visit our website to see how will it look like. After all, when everything is done, we can just simply open our dashboard right up here. We can find our uh, website among all the websites we have. We can click on select and edit. And from this page here, we can manage some stuff like marketing and CEO settings, analytics and reports, billings and payments and so on. So if you want to know more about Wix, you can find a lot of tutorials inside of this playlist. I also recommend you to see my uh, previous videos about Wix so you'll know more information about it. Hope this video helped you out and if it is, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. Goodbye.